Uh, my name is Richard Pilkington. I am a musician for a living. I play guitar and I write songs and I play in a group called Blackheart. I was driving up the M6 motorway in, in a car, uh, middle of the day, uh, on a sunny day, dry conditions, everything. For, for years and years and years I'd been a really lazy driver, I never wore my seatbelt and then suddenly I saw a police car in my mirror and I knew that he'd seen me without a belt. He overtook me very slowly like they do, pulled in in front of me, stop, stop, stop. I had to stop on the hard shoulder and got into his car and obviously I was fined £60 for not wearing my seatbelt. And I learnt from it that uh, I was going to change the, my ways because £60 it's just too much money to throw away for nothing and, and also throw away all my safety as well for not being with a seatbelt. So anyway, what's, uh, w what happens next is chapter two in the story uh, is about a month later. We'd been playing a gig in Stratford. We decided to get back in the van and, and, and come home. We were just coming up to Charnock Richards Services on the M6, so, you know, half an hour from home. But suddenly this massive crash, the loudest sound you can imagine, and this massive impact which just thrust us forward. We finally came to, to rest when we, we crashed into a lamppost on the motorway and demolished that lamppost. The lamppost came through the, the cab, the roof of the cab. We didn't really realise what had happened until we saw the other truck in the distance. The, the other driver had, had just not seen us. I don't know whether he fell asleep or, or he just lost concentration and he just ploughed right into the back of us and pushed us right off the motorway onto our side. The first police car that screamed up, the first guy to get out and run up to us on the motorway and, and, and as soon as he saw us, he, he said to me, don't I recognise you? I've not met you before. And it was Dave Dunn, the same guy who about four weeks earlier had, had fined me £60 for not wearing my seatbelt. So I decided to write a letter to the police um, to the Chief Constable, just to let the police know that, that when they're going around spotting people who are not wearing seatbelts, they're actually doing them a big, big favour. Because um, he, plus the seatbelt, definitely saved my life.